Good evening to all. I'll be extremely short as Peter threatened me before getting on the stage. Um, I think the relationship between Europe and, chi and China, in particular on the air market, has been very odd with respect to other countries in that business relationships developed before tourism, which means we are extremely advanced on, on, on B2B uh, between companies from our, uh, from our continent with Chinese companies, but in terms of tourism, we're lagging behind. But a warning to that is that if relationships are to last in the time, we have to get to know each other. We have to no get to know each other as cultures, and that can be only done through tourism. And that is why the, the very short speech that I make is more of an appeal rather than a speech. I would like to give you only two numbers. We heard over the last two days that there are 13 million passengers or Chinese visitors between Europe and China. This represents less than one-fifth of the North Atlantic market, despite having half the population. So what does this mean? It means that we have, on the one side, the market is still young, on the other, there are barriers for the market to grow. So what is it that we are all asking? And what is it that we were asking on, on, that, on the breakout session before? We need to have less barriers. Whether it is the visa requirements that are necessary for our citizens to travel from between our countries, or more importantly, when it comes to airports, is to have more liberalized air service agreements between our countries, i.e. to have more traffic rights available for the airline companies that are willing to serve these markets. Only by removing barriers, we will then be able to develop uh, these markets as we have developed in the past the, the North Atlantic. And hopefully with this, finally, we will end our isolation of not being served with a direct service between China and Venice. Thank you very much. Thank you.